A couple of days ago, I was out on the kayak fishing for mackerel using a string of sabikis. And apart from the mackerel, I also managed to catch a couple of scad, otherwise known as horse mackerel. In the autumn, I often pick up scad as a bycatch, either when using feathers for mackerel or fishing small baits on the bottom for things such as whiting. In the UK, they're not really considered as an eating fish and are mainly used as pot bait for crabs and lobsters or fishing bait for other species. I have had people say you cannot eat scad, that they're not good to eat, they're horrible. However, I've enjoyed eating them for many years and they are enjoyed in the Mediterranean and North African countries. Therefore, most of the UK commercially caught scad are exported. Although called horse mackerel, they are not closely related to our Atlantic mackerel, but are a member of a family of fish called jack mackerels, and the largest fish in that family is the greater amberjack. The following is how I prepare, cook and enjoy eating scad. Well, as you can see there, I've got two scad of different sizes. So for your information, if you're out fishing for scad in Cornwall and you want to take them, take some home, the legal landing size limit for scad in Cornwall is, is only 15 centimetres. So to give you an idea, nose to tail, that small scad is actually 25 centimetres. So the legal landing size limit is quite small. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim, trim, trim the fins. So just get a pair of scissors and, and, just, and just take off the fins. And both of the both of the scad have been cleaned at sea when I was out fishing, and I've also taken out the gills. Now, one thing you've got to do when you eat scad, whether you eat them filleted or whether you eat them whole, as I'm going to do, is you've got to remove. Let me just find get my knife. You've got to remove this serrated area you've got that which runs down the lateral line there's the lateral line that runs like that but down the end there there is a really sharp serrated serrated part of the lateral line when you run your finger up up, up against backwards along it it's really quite sharp so so not not very pleasant so what we do is, is cut that off. So all you do is take a sharp knife and then, so that it runs, it stops, the, the, the serrated part stops about there. So just, what I do is take a knife and just run your, run your sharp knife underneath it like that. And then, just cut it off. like that and do that both sides and of course I'll do the same to the same with the other with the other fish Okay, so now, now to talk about what I'm going to do with, the, with these. Now, I've tried them lots of different ways over the years. And you can, you can, you can do that, you, uh, you can bake them, you can grill them, um, you can fry them and you can smoke them. But the best way that I've found is actually to fry them. To fry them, get this, this skin to, to, to really crisp up and I find them delicious that way. So what I normally do is, let's say I get um, some scad this sort of size, I normally would have them as a first course and don't do much with them, just seize them, 
prepare them, season them with salt and, and pepper, and then fry them in, in oil, olive oil or sunflower oil until the skin, skin crisps up. And then just, just serve them as a first course with a, some, some bread, a bit bread and butter and some lemon juice. But I'm get, we're going to have these as a main course, so I'm going to do something, do something um, more to it. And what that is, I'm just going to, going to cook them whole. I am going to fry them, but I'm going to rub them first in a, in a, a mixture of, um, I'll show you later, but garlic and uh, ginger and some spices. Rub them with that first and then fry them. Okay, so I'll get on and, and prepare this one and then, then we'll move on. Alright, with the fins removed and with this sharp serrated part of the lateral line taken off, what I'm going to do now is just score the sides. The ingredients for the rub that I'm going to rub into the side of the fish are I've got some garlic and ginger paste so it's a couple of cloves of garlic and about an inch cube of gin ginger chopped up put in a blender and made into a paste. I've got some spices I've got just half a quarter of a teaspoon of paprika and then just a tiny little bit of chili powder this is just an eighth of a teaspoon of chili powder. Then I've got some lemon juice, a couple of tablespoons of lemon juice, I've got a couple of tablespoons of olive oil and then some sea salt and some fr freshly ground black pepper. Right so into a mixing bowl goes the olive oil, the lemon juice, garlic and ginger and the spices. Pinch of salt and a bit of black pepper. And then just give, give that a mix. All right, what I'm gonna do now is take some of this mix and rub it into the fish and then just pop it in the, in the fridge for about an hour and then the fish will be ready for frying. Alright, so the fish has been in the marinade for about an hour, so we're ready to fry it. So it's in with some olive oil. And then in with the fish. Because this fish is much bigger than the, the other fish. I'm going to cook this one a bit first before I put the other one in. Um, to be honest, this is this is only only just fits in the pan, um, but it but it fits. I mean, uh, too big, of course, and maybe the the answer is maybe uh, remove the head and remove the tail. I mean, you can do that anyway if you if you don't like fish being cooked with the head on. Just 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 take it off. Right, what I'm looking for when I fry the, the scad is to fry it so I, so I get a nice crispy skin. And I'll talk, I'll talk a little bit more about this later. Right, I'll go in with the, the smaller scad. 
All right, so that, that that's what I'm looking for with SCAD. Frying them until, until, until the skin really crisp, crisp up. All right, with the smaller ones done, nice crispy skin, so I'll keep that warm while the bigger one finishes off. Right, now that one's done, so we'll dish up and do, do a taste test. So there's our scad, fried and served with some new potatoes from the garden, buttered new potatoes and a lovely green salad. So just got to sit down now and enjoy. Okay, the taste test. Now first, I'm actually going to taste the skin. Now for those of you that have tried scad before and don't like it, or I've never tried it. One of the things that I found, and I've tried it many different ways, two things really, is one is to fry it. Now, and fry it so that the skin go, goes crispy. And the skin is absolutely delicious. Now with most fish, they say, oh, you only get it just cooked. But with, I find with scad is actually don't worry about that, just, just cook it well, cook it, obviously not burn it, the skin, but cook it so you get the skin nice and crispy. So, so this is just the skin. And in my opinion, as long as it's crispy, it's absolutely lovely. And now the meat. Done this way, it's absolutely delicious. I don't, I really don't understand why people say, "Oh, you, you know, you can't eat scad." But as said, fried, fried is the answer. Now, you don't have to do this mar this uh, marinade. If you just want to try, just get yourself one of those, catch one of those scad about the same size as the other one, about twenty five cent um, centimeters, and just to try it. Clean it, if you're going to leave the head on, take the gills out, but if not, take the head off. Just season it, get some olive oil, fry it in some olive oil until the skin goes nice and crispy. Flip it over and do the same the other side. Now you try it that way first before you try and do anything like this with it. And then see if you don't like it. And if you like things like mackerel, I would be really surprised done done this way that you don't enjoy it. It's as far as I'm concerned as a bite catch when you're fishing for other things it is definitely definitely welcome in my opinion. In fact, I think it's 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 quite done this way it's quite similar to mackerel. So once again, I hope you found that useful and many, many thanks for watching.